Okay, we're live. So, hello, hello. and welcome back. Hello. Welcome back to our weekly appointment, our uh, reflection, like uh, every week on the Friday evening, afternoon evening, like uh, aperitivo. We call this in uh -huh. Italy aperitivo time. We have our reflection on the topic of the week. So, like always, we have also with us the guest who deliver a, a webinar, Abrish, this week. And we have uh, Joe that is going to be the one who will mm -hmm. take care about the topic of the next week. Interesting week. Interesting week. We are week uh, seven, eight, I don't remember, <laughs> two months of this project. Learn Well Free Online Learning by New Wellness Education. And again, thank you to all of you for who is watching now, for who is following, for who is uh, commenting and sharing thoughts in the group. Topic of this week was critical thinking. Critical thinking, really interesting topic. I personally love it. Really uh, on a mind level topic, on a um, think, thinker, thinker level. <laughs> and uh, I find this topic really also connect with the situation that we are facing now, with uh, the force situation of staying home, not doing a normal routine. It's, uh, it can be an opportunity to zoom out from the normal routine and to analyze and to think about uh, topics and questions. And I find out all oh, this connect with uh, all the sharing of information on news that are going uh, online uh, and also fake news, correct news. I don't know. I don't know. But it's really important to be the ability to think about different topics, bigger topics, and to analyze it. I want to start my reflection and my insight with this week with uh, what Habrish said when you close your reflection. It's, uh, it was really interesting for me to listen this uh, thought about how critical thinking is also connect with uh, self-confidence, like the confidence on being able to doubt a to uh, topic. And I find this uh, one of the most important thing, uh, the word doubt. For me, also the critical thinking is connect with uh, being able to ask certain questions on a certain topic, not taking a big topic like uh, something that is like that, it's fixed, is that true? And to be confident and to step out the fear on asking a question, doubt of ourselves on a topic. And I believe uh, bigger is the topic, more controversial, more important, also meaningful for us is the topic, more it can be the question, the fear to question it, unless we do it. So he, my inside of the week after this, uh, after the workshop that I did, after the um, also writing down some notes, and I'm usually I start to write, and it's really supportive. It's connect of uh, what does it mean uh, to be rich on a critical level, and I reflect on uh, if a rich person is rich of money or of time or of ideas and doubt. And I find out for myself that being rich, it's also connect on being able to question myself, being able to doubt on certain topics. Because if I want to learn new things, if I want to grow, if I want to understand new topics, without asking a question on those, on those specific topics, how can I learn? If I take this, uh, uh, I call it like a hat of I know it all, and I don't remove it. How can I uh, dive in, in a new, into a new topic? How can I question it? And this is really on a personal level. How can I understand how my feelings, my emotions, my thoughts work if I don't doubt them? And also a second point, it's, for me it's really nice to always point it out, is this uh, ability of uh, take this zoom out, this, uh, I don't know the proper word in English, uh, uh, we call it in Italian discernere, this uh, separation from our, uh, to understand, to see our thoughts. And it's uh, really nice. I do, I tend to uh, overreact uh, to things, both in good or uh, bad things. So when something is beautiful, it's nice. I'm really, ah, this is really beautiful because I go with the emotion, gut feelings. And when something is a bit bad, I'm, oh no, this is really bad. So to, to take a step back and see, okay, this is that, is a fact. And I react in this way, how in order, which, what are the other options that I have 
to do and to question myself and my reaction. This is uh, uh, things that I want to do more and what this is my inside of the week. Okay. Again, uh, a bit like uh, contoured, uh, but uh, I think it, this topic is bringing this doubt in and uh, this. I pass now the word to Abrish, and I want to thank you to being here with us today to deliver your uh, workshop yesterday and with your reflection on this topic. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Fabri. Well, you mentioned uh, basically everything about critical thinking, so it's, it was a very good conclusion. But I can only repeat most of the, the points because I agree with you that critical thinking, it's... it's um, many different layers of it like the, the first layer is uh, questioning the the news that we that we hear questioning the, the big things of uh, of the, that we receive these articles and and messages from from others uh and then maybe the well, it's very important and and it starts with uh, asking questions and doubting and uh, yes i think uh, confidence is is very important when we we want to doubt something and then maybe the, the next level of critical thinking is, or, or the next layer of critical thinking is when you, you start to doubt um, opinion of, of others who, are, who you are in everyday contact with, or, or maybe not everyday contact, but, but I don't know, when, when someone tells you that you cannot draw, you, you cannot draw something, like maybe, maybe don't just believe it, or let, let's first question it, like, hmm, can I draw or, or can't I draw? And, and, what does it mean anyway to to be able to draw something? So, so it's important to to question also the the opinion of of family members. Sometimes, of course, they can be a very good source of feedback, but but take the or grab the the, the possibility to to decide for yourself whether you want to accept that feedback and how do you want to accept that, and then of course, what do you do with that? Do you do you improve? Do you, do you say it's not true? Well, it's your choice. And then, then comes maybe the, the, the next, when, when you start to doubt uh, your labels and, and your, your own ideas about, uh, about things, because maybe it can happen that, that for, I don't know, countless of years, you say to yourself that I cannot draw or I cannot paint or I cannot write a story for, to reflect a bit on the week as well. <laughs> and then maybe, maybe it's time to also think a bit critically about yourself as well and, and get rid of these labels. Because really ask the question, like, can I write this story? And maybe it turns out that you can. So, so yes, I think it's, it's, it's many, many layers and uh, it's a lot of work to, to, really, to really look objectively at things because it's, come on, how can I, like, it's, it's easy to say to, to look objectively at yourself, but when I'm really angry, I'm not thinking about at that moment, hmm, why am I angry? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you can and maybe it helps a lot when, when you really ask the question why am i frustrated why am i angry why am i sad at the moment and 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 you you kind of detach yourself i think that was the word you were searching for you you detach mm. yourself mm -hmm. a bit and look at your your frustration and, and try to hmm hello frustration nice to meet you and, and uh, <laughs> thanks for being here why why is it happening and uh, well that's that's maybe a very high level of critical thinking it's very easy to say not so easy to practice, I guess. Um, but uh, I believe that it can be an ultimate goal of critical thinking to to really, I don't know, to, to looking at your own feelings and, and trying to be objective about them. But of course, it's, well, it, it's important to lift these feelings as well. So my, my, my very last conclusion for critical thinking is that just be careful with critical thinking as well and uh, use it wisely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing. Yeah, I, I like the word that you use, like the label, labels. So how sometimes we give labels to things and we don't doubt it because it's like that. And uh, also the, the, the conclusion of uh, be careful of the critical thinking, not going to overthinking. This balance between, uh, okay, there is a feeling, there is overthinking. Uh, the balance is uh, the key the uh, in the middle. But it's also important, I see also working with uh, other NGOs, with, uh, I work as a consultant for new businesses, small businesses, uh, how the critical thinking is also important in, uh, in uh, practical things. In, uh, okay, I'll, I have to write a project. Why is like that? So to ask 
about okay two questions i ask uh, many times why why something is like that is made like that and so what so what is the after so what if you change what if so a really simple question why so what what if that can change the perspective thank you for your sharing and now i pass the word to joe and to conclude to to close this uh, weekly reflection Yes, hello everybody, here we are again. So this week, uh, for me, was very nice, Fabri, to see what uh, you proposed in your webinar on Wednesday, because uh, I realized that uh, I kind of did something really, really similar uh, in my mind, working on myself uh, the day before, so Tuesday. So <laughs> this week, for me, was like uh, very on fire. Uh, because I had this big, huge exam that was like this milestone that I had to dedicate the, the majority of my energies. And um, on, tu on Tuesday, I woke up, so knowing that it was the, before, the day before, so to have the last revision and everything, and I woke up realizing that I was feeling this kind of anxiety in my stomach because um, for me, uh, the somatic part of the body in which uh, I feel these, um, these emotions is the stomach. So um, I started questioning myself because fortunately uh, it's not something that uh, occurs often. Also for the exam, normally I, I arrived uh, pretty calm and uh, let's say uh, not, uh, not uh, agitated. But this time I really felt it. So for me, every time that I feel an emotion in the gut, so uh, let's say so strong, for me it's like um, you know a, re a bell that is ringing and saying me something. So I started questioning myself because I love to go and investigate and try to understand why am I feeling like this? What is uh, going through in the pattern of thinking? And I realized that uh, I was not feeling uh, confident in uh, the way that I was planning to uh, to do the final part of this study, let's say. So I also had the uh, opportunity to notice um, how we work very strong in uh, habits. So in uh, repeating patterns of uh, doing things in a certain way, maybe because uh, or we were, um, let's say, conditioned or maybe because we uh, educated ourselves to do certain things in certain ways. So, for example, in the years I had uh, developed my own method to study, but now since uh, with this quarantine we had to do the exam like online, so it was to be um, oral one, not the written as I was prepared to, I realized that that way in which I was uh, focusing all my energies was not uh, um, uh, appropriate for developing the confidence that I wanted to arrive uh, prepared to the exam. So uh, I really understand uh, within me that I needed to change something. So I, I reconstructed, let's say in my mind, what you also mentioned as the three of causes of the problem and the three uh, and the branches of the effect, because of course, for every problem we can uh, understand which are these. So I understood that, um, for example, some techniques that I was using because I've always used them in the written exams and they was good, they were not so good for this other kind of um, uh, spe speaking exam. So I had to reinvent myself. So first I had this kind of anxiety that made me like, oh my God, no, I, can, I cannot do it. I will not uh, be prepared, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, the feeling of um, losing the trust in your abilities. And then I said, okay, Joe, keep calm. And I started to, let's say, critical think. So to um, replace this uh, thinking uh, pattern that was trying to pull me down, like jo, my, it was my own voice in my mind telling me, no, Joe, you, you will not do it. You don't have enough time. You will not remember anything. So this was like uh, my self-speech. and. Uh, um, with this critical uh, awareness, I said, no, Joe, okay, let go of this kind of thinking that are not helping you to, to build a positive uh, mood to face this challenge. Okay, maybe you will not do uh, the best of always, but you can do the best that you can today with the tool you have. So I started to think and reinvent another way in which to memorize certain things, to express them in a certain way in order to face this uh, big uh, challenge. 
So for me, it was really interesting because at the end, this process that was into my <laughs> mind, uh, it, it has been really helpful in order also for the future times because it's like uh, I added new tools in my box of tools to face this kind of uh, university challenges. Uh, so it was uh, a positive balance in the end. And uh, it was thanks to the fact that uh, uh, I had the um, occasion to see the things in another perspective. So not to see them like straight, just because I've always did like this, but to try to see them from a bigger perspective. So then you also uh, say this uh, in your webinar. So it was like, oh, we really are in resonation. <laughs> we really are on the same wavelength. So yeah, nice, that's nice. it. Thank you. Thank you for bo both of you to share. And thank you for, for you who are watching. I see people that are connect with us and it's really nice to receive messages, to receive uh, comments, uh, to have guests uh, every week, to share reflection and to see that uh, our uh, uh, educational process can support other people also, not only us, because uh, it, for me personally, it's supporting a lot, but it can also resonate in other people to support other people to learn and grow and keep uh, uh, experiment about uh, how to educate ourselves to live a better life, educate on wellness and well-being. Super. Thank you. <laughs> Next week is you. Yes, jo. yes. I forgot to, <laughs> to conclude in this way, so yeah. We will see again next week with uh, the new theme of our beautiful path together in uh, Learn Well, Free Online Learning. So have a good weekend in the meanwhile, and uh, we see refreshed on Monday. At 12, we will have the brief uh, live in which we will explain, I will explain uh, which is the theme with the little challenge of the week, and then we will see again on Wednesday. Thank you. Bye-bye <laughs> to everybody. Bye, guys. Bye.